how to wire a new residential construction. All meters um, that go on a residential home are rated for 200 amp. That has nothing to do with the size of service that's in your home. So that's just a rating that's supplied by the utility company that they supply across standard across the board. Um, they all say up to 200 amp, but that does not mean that your service is 200 amp. So first of all, another second thing that you shouldn't even bother to look at is the top of the service because a lot of times you'll have a pipe that runs up through and they're all the same size. So you just simply can't tell off of that. The meter box sometimes will be marked uh, on 200 or 100 amp. So that's the first place you can look. Now you can see that says 200 amp max. That doesn't necessarily mean that this is a 200 amp service because there can be different size conductors in it, which is rather confusing. Here's the key feature of how you tell. This pipe coming out of the bottom of this meter base the meter base is this part here, this is the meter. This pipe here that comes out of the bottom, it'll either come out of the bottom, come out of the side, come out of the back, that goes directly into the first point, which would be inside the panel room, and I'll show you in a second. This pipe matters because depending on the size of this pipe, will tell you the size of your service. So this is actually a two inch pipe. The outside diameter is probably about two and an eighth to two and a quarter. So the inside and internal diameter is two inch. That means that this is a 200 amp service, okay? If it was a 100 amp service, then it would be inch and a quarter. If it was a 60 amp service, then it would be one inch. If it's bigger than this, then it's larger than 200 amp. But for residential purposes, you're not gonna see much bigger than 200 amp unless you get into 400 amp, which is a whole other story, which can be two stacks. But for today's purposes, we're just gonna talk about up to 200 amp because that's what most consumers have. So again, it's this pipe that comes out of either the back, the side, or one of the sides on the bottom of the meter base. You'll notice that on older meters, some of them have a round style meter base. That is definitely 100. They only make those up to 100 amp. They do not come in a 200 amp. So uh, some older homes still have those on. They can be up to 100 amps, so they could be 60 or 100, but definitely not 200. Anything 200 is gonna have one of these uh, bigger square or rectangular style meter bases behind the meter that's on the front of the house, okay? Again, the pipe size. Now we'll go inside and I'll show you the main. So now behind me is the inside of this panel that we talked about outside. Um, there's a couple of different panels here, but that doesn't matter. You're looking at the main pipe coming through, which is the panel right behind me. So this is where people get confused. You're always gonna look at the main breaker right on the front of the panel. And if you can see there, right in the light, it says 200. Now this is not always visible, which is why I said you start outside primarily with your pipe. Now you can see that pipe. Well, I guess you can't see that pipe because I don't have a flashlight. But that pipe comes through is that pipe that comes from outside, which is the two inch pipe we were talking about. That comes into this main 200 amp panel. That's always the first point that you're gonna start. So I'll show you some other examples. This one here has the pipe coming out the bottom. It's also um, the two or two and, two and an eighth, two and a quarter. But it's a little more tricky downstairs where it comes in. So this is where I need you to, to pay attention. So you can see that the inside of this pipe, that's where it comes in through, like I showed you outside, and then it's clearly marked on here, 200 amp. So what they have going on here is they have two, they have 200 amps coming in, sorry, clearly marked 200 amp. So it comes in and then it goes to two 100 amp disconnects. So there's 100 amp disconnects traditionally in the 70s when they wired these homes, they went to two separate 100 amp panels. But that still means that this is 200 amp main coming in. Um, in, in every situation is a little bit different, but it's important to look at that main coming in and not the power panels when they're broke up like this. Um, and this is why this situation is a little more difficult. You can see there's there's several different uh, panels here, but it's that one main that comes in that's the key feature to the size of the service in your home. So here's another example of a 100 amp service. As you can see on the right hand side, there's the big pipe that goes up through the top, which I told you to ignore. 
And on the left hand side, you can see there's a pipe coming out, which is inch and a quarter. So the inch and a quarter pipe size is how you know it's a 100 amp. And also in addition to that, you can see on the side of the meter base where it says 100 amp max. So this is the inside of that service that I just showed you outside. Uh, and you can see quite clearly here, 100 amp, that's on the main. Now that's not always marked that clear. So that's why I was talking about the outside of the service pipe coming in. In this case would be an inch and a quarter. Okay, so that was a lot to take in in a very short period of time. I know it's sometimes difficult to determine the size of the electrical service. And I know you want to determine the size of the electrical service, either for your insurance company or heating system you want to add. So remember, start outside, look at the meter base, and then follow the pipe down in. Then go to the main disconnect or the main service panel itself. Now, sometimes this always isn't clear. So just try to have a good look with a flashlight or the best lighting you can and take as many numbers as you can off of the service itself. Remember the pipe sizes like earlier in the video as I'm going to post. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.